So this is an Onan Marquee uh, 7000 and uh, I got it a little while ago. It needs some, well it ran, but it needs some, needs a lot of cleanup on it. Whoever had it before um, did some work to it to get it to keep running, but it wasn't what you would call doing it by the book, so to speak. It was, uh, they did a lot of stuff just to keep it going, um, including some, you know, not, not the right fuel pump, uh, wiring that's been messed with and uh, a different relay on it than what it originally came with. Uh, part of the air horn was cracked, so we're gonna replace that. Anyways, right now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up the, uh, the intake and exhaust uh, ports on here so that we can go back. I've got the stuff to start putting this back together. We're gonna go ahead and clean up intake and exhaust and uh, Put the uh, start just start putting back the uh, all the components and see if we can't get this thing running here in the next day or two. So this is this is the cleanup. I'm just using a, a Dremel with some really fine sandpaper on it so that I can just clean these uh, these ports up a little bit. I've done this side, so I'm gonna switch over and do the other side, and then we'll start putting uh, start putting all this back together. So I'm going to go ahead and put these, the, the valve covers back on. I, uh, while I had them off, I did adjust the valves on it. They were, they were pretty close to what they should have been. Only one valve really needed and some adjustment. It was really slight. Um, the engine looks like it's been run quite a bit. You know, most of these generators sit around and don't run very much, but it looks like this one actually got some use. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So it was leaking at <clears throat> it was leaking oil up here around the valve covers or valve covers, they'll you know, tap it covers. So we're gonna, you know, so I'm replacing all of those and then uh, try to get the oil leak stopped so that it doesn't, you know, doesn't continue to have that problem. We're gonna go ahead and there's this is the oil filter down here, and it looks like the base of the oil filter is leaking where it meets the engine housing. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off and uh, clean that base up as best we can and put a new gasket on there as well. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to get my little cleaning tool in there, so we'll have to find another way to get down there and get this cleaning done. So We'll see how that goes. Well, this is my first time draining oil out of an Onan, and I thought the plug came out, but it doesn't. And so the oil starts draining out the bottom of this little neck thing down here, and uh, it's pretty much drained out now, but man, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that, and I made quite the mess here. So now it's going to be cleanup time. It was nice and neat and clean looking, but now I got to go on to uh, the aftermath cleanup. So talk to you again in a few minutes. So I want to change this base for this oil filter uh, unfortunately the bolt I need to get to is way back up in there and I'm trying to figure out the best way to access it um, and it looks like the best way to access it, access it is to go ahead and take the muffler off and then um, take the flywheel off and fan deal and then pull this front shroud and once this front shroud is off then I can access the bolt from you know from the front of the generator unit get that base off change that clean it up change that gasket put it back together um, 
So I was expecting, I was hoping it was going to be just an, an easy job to do it from the from the side, but it looks like it's going to have to a lot more is going to have to come off to get to that. But it definitely needs to be changed. I mean, look at the amount of um, oil and grease build up on that. It's definitely, I mean, it's not a major leak, but I went ahead and got the gasket. I might as well go ahead and get that changed and you know just solve one more potential problem that that could be coming up on this generator. Um, Anyways, it'll be an opportunity to clean it up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and, and get set up to start taking this uh, further apart, and I'll set this back up. Thanks. All right, so we're set back up here, and we're going to go ahead and take this muffler off on the front, and then uh, start pulling the, the flywheel so that we can get that off, and then get this front shroud off. Originally, I had tried to avoid taking this off, um, but it uh, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to avoid it, so let's get it off and see what we find in here. In case you're wondering what I have this on, I made this, I had a furniture dolly and just took a 2x12 and this to make a platform for this uh, for this machine so this way I can move it around in here turn it around get it where I need it to without uh, too much effort so let's see. Muffler is out of the way. Make sure I keep these bolts together. Uh, and we're going to need our, our flywheel puller. Oh, look at that. Our dirt daubers have made it into a nice uh, nest for themselves. Let's get those cleaned out. bolts are going to be way too long. <laughs> Let's go find some, some of the right length bolts because these are not going to work. These are way too long. <laughs> this really is a steering wheel puller kit, but we're going to use it like a gear puller. So Let's go find some of the right length bolts.
Well, that came loose, so let's get this off and see what the next step is. Imagine my my time here is coming to an end soon because of the little guy. The grandson's gonna be getting up soon. And we'll need some oops, some supervision. All right, and we can clean up the rest of this stuff. Go ahead and start putting up some instead of just leaving everything out. Let's take a look at what we got down here. Hmm, let's do this. Alright, so there's a little bit of light. We got let's see if we can get to this bowl, okay. Let's see, right there is the bolt we've got to get to. Looks like it's going to be a slow process, but we can get to it. Uh, everything else looks okay. No leakage, no oil leakage on this front seal. That is very pleasing to see that. Um, and then we're also going to, I guess I can pull this shroud the rest of the way off and go ahead and just clean since I have it apart. Anyways, let me work on that for a second. Got the shroud off. Look at what we found in there. A little dead mouse. He's obviously been there for a long time. So we're going to get rid of him. And then we're going to keep going. Let's get a little paper towel here. We'll grab that guy. Yep. One dead mouse and we'll go throw him away. All right, so I was able to get this um, oil base unit off. And you can see the old gasket material there. It doesn't look too bad. Um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna do some cleaning, get this cleaned up, put the new gasket on, put that back on there, and uh, you know, see what it does. Hopefully get it all cleaned up and make a nice good seal out of it. So stay tuned for more. All right, so I got the oil pressure uh, oil filter base off. And I've got that part of the block cleaned up. I've got the, the base cleaned up. Looks good. Um, I cleaned up the oil pressure sending unit. I did run this generator briefly before I started working on it, so... This is working. I'm gonna just gonna reuse the old one. The uh, 
the unit seems to be accessible enough that should I have problems I can just you know I can replace that without having to take anything really apart I just have to remove the engine cover um, this is an older Emerald uh, I think it's a 4000 yeah Emerald 4000 that I bought and put a new regulator on it um, cleaned up the slip rings and it seems to be working fine um, this one is uh, obviously in a larger state of repair right now so anyways we got the base off uh, I think it's time for me to, to take a break on this for a little while I got some other things I need to work on today but uh, I'm gonna um, clean up my tools put some things away so I don't lose anything and then uh, go work on uh, Christmas lights I believe you know today is um, Black Friday it's the time to go put up your Christmas lights you know and you know guys if, if y'all are like me then this is just sort of a sort of a hobby this is sort of my my stress reliever um, I don't do uh, you know a whole lot of other things other than you know I, I like to find something like this to work on every so often and um, I just enjoy uh, taking taking equipment that's not functioning properly or at a hundred percent or maybe not even functioning at all and getting it back into a, a working condition so at the end of this hopefully we're going to have us a nice uh, 7,000 watt generator um, I'm not sure uh, I'm you know I'm sort of hunting for an RV if I don't find one I may um, figure out how to connect this to my house for some standby power if I need to uh, but I don't really have a lot of plans for it this is something else I got to tackle we have a you know this this fuel relay was is working but it's not the original onan relay i'm going to see if i can't clean these wires up and go back to uh, uh the original onan relay that'll connect to the back of the uh, air filter housing and you know just get it in the get it where it needs to be not you know not just rigged up like that so and i also have another a new voltage regulator coming that one is that one's not even bolted into position and I think it works, but somebody has has done something to it. I don't know what you can if you can see this. It's uh, you know, it's I don't know what they did. I think somebody did a a repair on it, but I don't know. It's very suspect. It's obviously not the original. I mean, if you touch that, it's really sticky. I don't even know what they've used in there. Um, so. Anyways, we're going to replace that as well. I don't want something that, I mean, you can clearly see it's been sitting there just oozing out onto the deck. So, I'm not going to not gonna use that. And um, we'll go on to the next thing. So, I'm going to I'm gonna clean up now and um, I'll bring this back out. I'll, I'll uh, you know, get this back out when we start working on it again. Obviously, I haven't put the valve covers on. They're just sort of in place to keep debris out. Um... So when I start going back together with it, we'll, we'll get back together.